Hey YouTube, this is TNN, and in this video we're going to look at a smartwatch. Now this ain't any old smartwatch. I'd say this is the cheapest smartwatch that is available on the market as of 2016. This watch costs £7. So what comes with it? It comes with a user manual that's in Chinese and English. It comes with a micro USB to USB cable. It's quite a short cable, I'd say it's about 10 centimeters long. But I guess it gets the job done to charge the device. And you're not really meant to be using the device when it's charging anyway. So we have these bands around there. These are silicone. These are non-removable bands. So you have to keep them on with the watch. We've got a metal back behind. Feels kind of cheap, but it's not too bad. But it does have a reset button, I assume. Not too sure why it's there, but it's got to be a reset button. On the left side, we have a speaker grill, micro, microphone. And on this tab underneath, we have the micro USB charging port and that's where you charge the device with the cable provided on the front we have the menu home and back button we got the power on power off unlock and lock button on the right side and it's quite a thin device it's about a centimeter thick it's one of the thinnest smartwatches i have seen i have to admit and it's really light as well I think it comes in at 44 grams. Yes, that's how light it is. And it feels amazing on your wrist. Like It feels like nothing there. My G-Shock weighs more than this. So it's probably the perfect fitness band. So on the front, we actually have a 1.48 inch capacitive screen with 128 by 128 pixels. Doesn't sound that amazing, but it gets the job done. It's quite reasonable when you turn it on. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And we have the little welcome sound as well. So inside is a 235 mAh battery. Talk time is about 2 hours. Standby time 48 hours which is about right. I did measure it. It was on the phone. The watch was working for about 48 hours. And working time 24 hours. So pretty reasonable. Inside we have Bluetooth 3.0. As you can see it's trying to connect automatically. But my Bluetooth isn't on my phone. But we will go ahead and turn that on in a sec. So here are some of the apps we have on the device. You can go ahead and look at these apps while I'll talk through the device itself. So what we have inside, we've got 64 megabytes of internal storage and 128 megabytes of RAM. Now it runs on a single core MTK6260 ARM7 processor, which is okay. It's pretty good for a smartwatch. But it has no GPS, no Wi-Fi, no network because it has no SIM slot. So basically this smartwatch relies fully on connecting with your phone. And mainly fitness features such as the pedometer which I've just shown. Now I have tried out the pedometer and it works pretty good, it's reasonable. But for £7 you truly can't complain and it has some basic features a smartwatch, a smartwatch should have. And it also has some features that phones have. So let's actually go ahead and connect the device to my phone. Now I'm going to have to admit it's really easy to connect. At first it's kind of confusing but you'll get the hang of it once you own your first smartwatch. So this smartwatch works with Android devices mainly but it can work with iOS and Windows phone just with Bluetooth. The only thing is you won't get all the features available let me try and focus it here, but as you can hear, the speakers aren't that loud. Sorry about the wind, if you could hear the wind, but I'm going to try and be quiet here. Speakers are not that loud. So there are the speakers on the watch. They're okay. I guess you can't complain for £7. At least it comes with a speaker. I mean, I didn't even expect the watch to have a speaker to be honest but it did so if you want to download the bluetooth notification app you do just go on settings there's that qr code and you just scan it with your smartwatch and you can download the app but it literally has all the basic features most cheap smartwatches have and for like seven pounds which is i think is around 10 10 12 dollars you truly truly can't complain now the clock faces is really really rubbish clock face I like this one, there's other two analog clocks, but you can't change them on the watch, it just sticks with that clock, you have to change it in settings after. 
but overall it's a really nice watch typing on it it's really nice it feels amazingly light and i mainly use it as a fitness watch instead of a smart watch because it's not that great but it's okay so don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i think overall score i'd give it is definitely definitely 9 out of 10 i mean it's unbelievably light it's unbelievably cheap